Good afternoon, dear viewers. Today is a very special day. It is the middle of the month of July. The 15th of July. It's hot. And probably for the first time I am addressing not investors, mostly not investors and not project participants. I am addressing residents of the Zelenograd region of Moscow and Moscow region. Residents of working age. Those who think about their future and see themselves in their future. Yes, I understand perfectly well that couriers those who deliver pizza, those who deliver things for ozone, they have very high salaries. As one person said, you can't make money at all, Mesh. Well, it depends on what you mean by earnings, of course. But let me say that, yes, salaries at several Mesh are not big now, because it is wrong to live on investment money. What is needed for Sevalmash to move to another quality, another level, and for people to start earning? What is needed for that? It is necessary to make the next step for that. And that next step is called production, launching production. Yes, we are now at the stage of preparation for obtaining the conclusion on completion of construction or the subsequent obtaining of the commissioning permit. We are doing everything that is in our power to bring this hour closer. But this hour is predetermined by the fact that after receiving the conclusion on the completion of construction and the permit for commissioning, the next moment will come, that is, operation. What does it mean? Well, our guests who work here on the site, who are also residents, they have just left us. We had an exchange of views on what is being done and how it is being done. They looked at our facility. And it's not just my words. They are the words of those people, those employees, those officials who visit the site. Well, I can say that Sovalmash has created a facility that is, to put it mildly, not the worst at all, far from being the worst. So, here is my address to you today. I address you, those who want to work at Design and Technological Bureau Sovalmash. The facility itself, the walls, the equipment, is just iron. Just as a machine without tools, which is just metal, just some iron. When there are tools and accessories, then it becomes a machine indeed. But it is also iron, it is also metal, until it falls into the hands of a master. And then the master will make something great out of it, something to admire. And today, on the 15th of July, I am informing everyone that we start hiring employees at Sovelmash. Who do we need? First of all, we need design engineers. Engineers who specialize in the field of electrical engineering, in particular induction motors. If not, we will teach them. We also need designers who know things about machine tools, machines, technological equipment, tooling. For example, tooling for injection molding machines, 
tooling for high pressure molding, process tooling, because no mortar can be produced without tooling. The production of any induction mortar requires about 200 pieces of tooling. Before it can be manufactured, it must be designed. And considering the variety of motors, you understand perfectly well that if there are 200 units of tooling for each motor, it means that if we need to make 10 varieties of motors, it is already 2,000 units. You need to design them, give them to specialists, machine operators, tool makers, who will bring it all to working condition. That is why we need tool makers. We need operators. Operators of clock program control machines, CNC lathes, milling machines, universal machines, for universal non-CNC lathe machines. We need turners, milling operators. We also need specialists who can maintain and work on injection molding machine tools. We also need specialists who can work on machines for high-pressure casting of aluminum alloys and non-ferrous alloys. We need stampers who can operate stamping machines that work or stamp sheet material. We need electricians, qualified electricians, because we have a 10 kilovolt input. We have just concluded a maintenance contract, but nevertheless, we have 0.4 kilowatts outside. It is natural. There is a large developed infrastructure, cables and bus bars. Electricians are needed to install equipment, to connect everything. Why? Because we will not only have machine tools, but we will produce machine tools as well, and they will have to be connected. We will need to work with them. Among other things, we need people who can work in adjacent areas. These are those who will be engaged in product sales, who will be able to create dealerships that will not only sell our products, when I'm talking in particular about angle grinders, but also their service and warranty maintenance. Those people will take the courage to test our equipment in conditions of industrial enterprises where professional angle grinders are in demand. All these people are needed. We also need specialists in the maintenance of the cooling center because infrastructure is very large. First of all, of course, we need machine operators and designers. That's our primary need. And don't be afraid that you don't know anything about electrical machines. We will teach you. The main thing is to have that desire to learn. Basically, my appeal is to young people. To those who want to learn, as long as there is someone to learn from. Afterwards, except for personal growth, managerialism and other nonsense, well, you may be taught something by someone else, but soon they won't be able to teach you anything else. But nevertheless, this specialization, this personal growth and other things, they are different ways of squeezing money out of you. They do not create a surplus product. Yes, they are trying to lower the country down to the level of Honduras to make a raw material appendage of it, like the African Republic, and many other countries that were lowered like that by the Western civilization. Now they are also trying to put Russia down so that there is no technology, nothing. Sanctions that have been imposed have led to the fact that Nornikel is forced to take its main production to China and only take ore here. Why? It's payment, payback and other things. So the West has been doing it, they are doing everything possible and they are doing it very effectively to turn us into a raw materials appendage 
And what is happening now has been happening before in other countries. That is why they make the main stake on lowering the morale of the youth, reduction of its intellectual level, professional level. They try to make consumers out of them. That is why teachers, doctors, all people who have a very high level of qualification, today their labor is paid contemptuously in small amounts. While low skilled labor is paid highly. I'm not saying that we'll immediately step into prosperity. No, we'll have to work hard, very hard. But it will be interesting. And what will be created by you, by us together, will form the basis for the prosperity of the whole team. And not only the team but also the investors and all the project participants. So I invite everyone who follows the project, who is not indifferent, who wants to become a specialist, who has a desire to join our team, you can contact us using our website. There are email addresses, info at Solomash dot ru for example or sales at sovelmash.ru you can call us you can write about yourself all this will go to specialized people and then those specialists will contact you and then you'll decide thank you for listening spread this video as much as possible because before, there was no talk of hiring, but now it's time. Whatever the haters say, let them keep saying it. Their job is to do everything they can to stop this project from happening. Make it dirty, sludge it up. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about and what I'm facing. I never talk about it, honestly. Because it will all fade into the shadows. It will all drop out of the sky like clouds. And everything will be fine. So their efforts are in vain anyway. They just might shake the unsteady mind, but not for a long time. People will understand what the Solomon's project is, what the Design and Technological Bureau is. They will make the right conclusions, adjust the conclusions based on the realities of what is happening. Because in 2017, those who believed in the project and went there, well, people actually believed in a fairy tale, literally. Now it's far from being a fairy tale anymore. What else would I like to add? It's about both the shareholders and the participants of the project. So in the time since last video, there have been some big events. Let's put it this way something rather big. Just the other day, at the end of the week, we completed the installation of the noise screen. It is a titanic structure. Everyone said, why such a huge thing? But when the hurricanes passed, everyone understood that everything was done correctly. Because the screen is designed for such weather conditions, very harsh conditions. Also, the entire scope of work on the installation of ventilation systems has been practically completed. There is not much left now. And we have already started adjusting the fire alarm system and the fire extinguishing system. Most of these works, we can say, are 97-98% completed and ready. Literally, I think that it will be ready in two weeks. They will be ready for presentation to the commissions. Asphalting of the area is also being completed. The fact that there was a temporary covering for the winter, it allowed us to keep the territory. We removed the temporary covering, the first layer. We rolled it up there where there were clearly visible defects after winter subsidence. All that was opened up and compacted. This is mainly where one layer was only laid. 
the curves are fully exposed in the whole volume. Now there is landscaping on the facade side going on. The vegetation layer is being laid. There were large volumes of works there as well. The area where the asphalt will be laid is paved. From the back part, where the works on installation of the noise screen were carried out, the lawn is being gradually tidied up. And we are already ready to perform works on connection of power supply according to the project scheme. All the works have been prepared. There are still a few documents from the persons who performed the works left. Basically, a letter of completion of works. So that later they do not tell us that something was not done, that they missed something. So that they understand the measure of their responsibility. Because once 10 kilovolts are switched on and the power supply is switched on, according to the permanent scheme, well, all the costs will fall on the contractor. They have been warned about this. Another thing I would like to say is the following. We now have permanent cleaners. Well done. They repeated the labor of Hercules when he cleaned the Ogier stables. Well, actually, they cleaned almost the entire administrative building. And now you walk through it as if it were a fresh, new, clean facility. And in this facility, those who will come to the team, those who will join the team, will work. Similarly, the third floor of the production building is now being cleaned. Some equipment has already been moved there. Now more rooms are being cleaned, and the motor winding section will be moved there. So there are very interesting events ahead, very interesting things to do to make everything that has been done look like this. It's all coming. And everyone who will join the team should realize that at the first stage they will work not only in their profession, but they will also be involved in other works. And so they will also be able to say I participated in the creation of the Center, Design and Construction Technological Bureau, or rather, sorry, that I took part in those works. Thank you for your attention. Take a good care of yourself. Goodbye.